Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you several different ways of snapping, aligning, and adjusting the pivot in Maya. Uh, before we get started, just so you know, I have more tutorials on gumroad.com slash Dabney. You can also find me on Instagram, Art by Dabney, and I also have a YouTube channel. So first thing we're going to do is just the basics with it with his uh, vert snapping. So if you make a cube, it's the same thing as holding this magnet up here. Or you can just hold V, and when you left click drag, it will snap to another object. If you want to do grid snap, it's the same as clicking this guy, but you can hold X, it'll snap to a grid. And if you want to snap to the grid, you can make a curve, holding X. Hit enter when you're done. And now pick your cube, hold C, left click, drag, let go, and then you'll find it snapping to the curve. So to edit your pivot, you just hit the insert key. You can left click here, you can hold V, you can snap the pivot. And then you can hold V again snap it to an object. Let's say you want to let me hit 1, go to regular mode. Let's say you want this cube to snap right to that. Insert key, hold V, hit W again, now hold V, left click, and now it's snapping to another object. If you, let's say you have an object up here, and he's rotated. So that's the regular rotate. If you hold J, it will incrementally rotate. So you don't have to go here and then type 90. You can just hold J. And let's go to the front view. Another way we can snap, pick the verts. Let's say your object's a little bit off. You can grab these two, hit the scale scale tool, hold J, left click this guy, and that snaps. So again, it was R for scale tool. Grab your verts, hold J, left click, drag. Let's say you want to take a cube, holding V to snap, Let's scale them up a little. Say he was rotated and you want to snap him to the gun here, use this snap together tool. So left click a face, left click there, hit enter. pretty handy. If you hit Y for last tool, you can left click. And you can rotate. Another way to snap. Let's just create a sphere. Increase the divisions left click and drag and then if you middle mouse in your viewport you'll get more divisions and you can click this make live and we'll go to modeling toolkit and quad draw and if you left click four times and hold shift and left click you'll get a poly so then you can hold tab and we'll quickly left click hold shift Left click, hold shift. So we're quickly snapping to a sphere. If you hold control and left click, you can add subdivisions. Sometimes when you're modeling, you may want to reuse a part. So let's say center pivot, duplicate it. Maybe we want to use this somewhere else, but we want to rotate it. 
we don't want to just eyeball it and you just can't get it right to get it oriented. So what we can do is create a cube. Snap it up here. I have live on so I need to turn live off. I'm just going to pick these two alt H to hide everything except my objects. And I'm going to do tear this menu off. Pick three points. One, two, three. And just right click here, hold shift, one, two, three. Three points to three points. So now we have this oriented the way we want. Of course it's upside down, so what we can do is modify freeze transformations. And I need to go into my options, make sure all three are checked. Freeze transformations, now that's at zero. E for rotate, hold J. Now we have, if I show everything, you have your handle straight up and down the axis and it's precise. You didn't just eyeball it. So you can snap it over to here. Create another handle or something. So let's say you want this handle to be a little bent, kind of like just another kind of design like that. So that was ugly. I just eyeballed it. But we, one thing you can do to get it to move on the right axis is pick the verts, hold W, left click, axis, custom, set to edge, left click there, and now your gimbal is going with your edge so you can move it and you know it's in the right axis. So let's say you want to move it back. Axis custom set to edge. And so on. So you can get it cleanly to move. Okay, let's say you have these three objects and you want them to be in a straight line. Do the modify, snap align objects, align objects. If you pick X, Y, and Z, and mid. They're all going to be stacked on top of each other. So you turn off, in this case, you turn off Z, and now they're aligned. You look from the top view, and the front view, and the right view. They're all aligned, so that's cool. And one last thing here, let's say your model is just a little bumpy, you got a little messed up, so you can hold V, snap to there, and then you can either axis custom set to edge or what's faster is holding middle mouse and C. So you want to click you want to click the square first so it goes yellow. Hold middle mouse. Hold C down and middle mouse click and you can move a vert along an edge. But in this case, you still need to snap it. Hold C down, middle mouse. And if you hit the minus arrow on your keyboard, you can shrink the manipulator so it's easier to, to see. So that's just a way to move a vert along an edge. If you want to see more about how I modeled this gun, you can check out gumroad.com slash dabney, and you can see the full process of modeling and texturing. And if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.